Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis for big mega cap stocks. So show your support by hitting that thumbs up button and that is greatly appreciated and if you are new here consider subscribing and that means a lot to me. Now if you want to get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, my analysis in 3 days of live trading definitely check out the Patreon and that link will be down below in the description. And now let's get right into it guys. On Nvidia stock it's up 0.59% and talking about insane move. I mean this thing here guys for 10 days going straight up. No pullback, absolutely nothing. And guess what? In top of that we actually got a pullback here on Nvidia today down to 481 and dip buyers buying that dip right here on top at 482 that is just insane to watch that people are actually buying this dip at 482 and then pushing the price higher all the way up to 491 and then we saw a bit of a pullback down to 486 at the closing so for tomorrow this thing is overbought trading above upper bollinger band and then we saw that pullback but also guys i mean for 10 days absolutely no pullback this red candle you see here on my screen it was actually up on the day. We just saw a pullback but it was up green on the day. So for tomorrow 482 will be a key level and if this thing can hold above 482 definitely you're going to see a retest of this all time high and then possibly a fresh new all time high. Below 482 then watch out for 473, 471 and then 460 on Nvidia if we get a pullback which is almost impossible right now on Nvidia stock and we also have earnings coming next week. On Amazon stock is down 0.68%, nothing big, Amazon getting down to 140 but look at this move again here on Amazon closing above 142 holding blue line 5 day moving average as a support into closing and that is bullish here on Amazon. So tomorrow above 142, 146 possible on Amazon. Below 142, watch out for the support down here 138 and then possibly down to this 13 day moving average right here 136.77 and then the gap below just under 134. Amazon can break and hold 146, blue sky above and this thing can run even higher. On Google stock is down 0.31% kind of a flat day here on Google but if you look at my screen 5 day moving average now moving up sitting at 133 and it's holding above not only 133 also 20 day moving average right here 132. So as long as Google is above 132 to 133 you're going to see 135 breaking and soon as that happens watch out for a big move up to this gap. 138.75 if this thing breaks under 132 then watch out for the support down here 130 and then the gap below 127.74 until then guys as long as google can hold above 132 and soon as we get that breakout above 135 this thing is gone to this gap right up here at 138.75 on Meta, it's up 0.13%, kind of a flat day, but again breaking above this high and now breaking above this high right here, which is just above 330 and getting up to 332.33 and looks like this thing wants to run even higher. I mean, this was completely a B-shape recovery right here on Meta and now this thing pushing even higher. And look at this dip buying today, guys. 326 getting down to 325.70 and the dip buyers doing a great job buying the dip right here and pushing the price higher. I mean from the low here today this thing went up 7 bucks. So if you actually caught this move down here at 326 then that was a decent trade. As a day trader this is what you should be looking at especially when something like Meta pulling back and holding a big level of support which was a big resistance before and now it's holding right here 326. So tomorrow as long as this thing is above 326 this thing can push up to I would say 333 to 337.50 and who knows maybe even 345. Once we get that breakout above 330 and this thing can hold 
above this high right here which is just above 330 and so far it's not holding today it's under 330 so soon as we get that breakout there is going to be more upside but if this thing breaks below 326 then watch out for this to put down here 320 342 316 all the way down here but the move is so strong so you know pullback are almost impossible on meta at this point unless there is some bad catalyst or the market actually sells off we see a big sell off here in the market this thing would not pull back and i think again uh the company buyback and that is why you're seeing meta going straight up because this is not us you and me buying meta that is company buying its own shares and that is why this thing is up and going straight up in a straight line without a pullback i mean from 272 guys going up and hitting a new 52 week high that is just insane so i would not chase this move this was a nice day trade if you actually took it right here at the support 326 but going long or buying anything as a swing trader and holding overnight especially calls i would not chase this move here on meta on Tesla stock is up over 4% and not to toot my own horn, but I called it out here that Tesla rally is coming. If you go back and watch that video and especially the thumbnail, it says right there on my thumbnail that Tesla rally Monday and boy, oh boy, this thing actually delivered today up over 4% and look at the dip buying today. And especially if you are subscribed to my channel, you know that I said it before that watch 212 on a pullback as a support and this thing was holding 212 right here and if you actually caught this dip we actually caught the dip last week and i sold uh two more uh contracts today here on tesla and those were up almost 50 percent and still holding one for a big run all the way up to 242 and also holding 350 shares of tesla and that is a swing trade and i'm not selling until 242 and I've been buying uh, here on this dip all the way down to this low right here. So those are green also here on Tesla. And today was a nice opportunity to buy the dip on Tesla at 212 because this thing we saw a nice reversal from 212 getting up to 225.40. That is a big move on Tesla. So what's tomorrow? I would say watch this resistance right here. If this thing can clear, I would say 227 this high right here then it's gone you're going to see a straight shot all the way up to 242 to close this gap on top now tomorrow now this thing is above daily 200 sma also above 20 sma so tomorrow if there is a pullback you want to watch i would say 220 to 219 and below that 216 212 as a support on tesla if there is a pullback tomorrow and as soon as we get that breakout above 227, this high right up here, then you're going to see a bigger rally on Tesla to close this gap all the way up here at 242. And now a lot of people are coming out with uh, inverse head and shoulder on Tesla. But before this pullback, and that was on uh, Thursday, I had this right up here that this thing can pull back can close this gap right down here and this could be an inverse head and shoulder and then we could see a big move all the way up to 242 it's not there yet but i think as soon as we get that breakout above 227 that's going to happen in a really quick time on tesla so watch out tesla could be a big uh, moving stock tomorrow going into opening on Microsoft is down 0.81% and this is actually nothing, not even 1%. And if you look at my screen, holding above this previous all-time high, 366. So that needs to give up here on Microsoft and only if that happens, then watch out for the support down here. Blue line, five-day moving average, 364. And below that, you're going to see a lot more downside down to this gap, 357.54 and then 355. To the upside as long as this thing is above 366 you're going to see 370 again and then possibly another fresh new all-time high which is gonna be 375 plus on microsoft so finally a red day on apple down 0.86 percent and we talked about it before and apple not even touching 183 support today so as long as apple can hold above 183 that is bullish and you're going to see 
Apple going up another five, six dollars to close this gap on top just above 190. Only if there is a pullback, then watch out for the support 183, 180, and then strong support down here 177. And uh, we're just not seeing that pullback here. Even today, not even getting down to 183. So Apple still looking bullish for more upside. And watch out if this thing can actually stay above 183. You're going to see more upside up to this gap, 190.69. So Netflix also taking a breather today, down 0.59%. Nothing big, not even getting down to 5-day moving average right here, which is setting at 440. So tomorrow... Only if there is a pullback, you want to watch the support just under 440 right here, 439.65 to be exact. And only below that, you want to watch 425.65 and then 418. Now, Netflix, I said it before, if this thing can push and break 450 now, you're going to see a big move all the way up to 470 to close this massive gap on top. And that could be coming soon as we get that breakout above 450. So on AMD closing above 118 on Friday and now we are seeing some rejection from 118 opening today at 118.34 and getting down to 116 and now trading below 118. So until we get that breakout above 118, watch out for the support around 115 and then 110 on AMD and that's going to be a key level to watch on a pullback because we have all these moving averages right here sitting just under 110. Now to the upside, AMD can break and hold 118. Then this move to the upside will continue. And the next stop all the way up here at 125 on AMD. And uh, that could be coming soon as we get that breakout again above 118. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.